Hi, hi everyone. Hello, hello. I am so glad that you came to watch me wash my face. <laughs> Um, I'm super excited. So lots of times people think that skincare can be a total snooze fest. And I want to tell you, it is totally not. I love the makeup that we have here with Mascara Beauty. But what's even better, and I am telling this is the honest truth, I love the makeup, but the skincare is the best. <laughs> if I had to pick whether which one I could keep, I would probably keep the skincare. Guys, if I could only pick one. Hi, Miss Connie. Okay. So let's wash our face. We're gonna do it together. So what I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna show you something that everybody needs to do, but we always skip. I mean, most people will at least wash their face in the shower or whatever, you know? They'll at least rinse it off. But so many times we skip masks or it's something that's done just like as a fun thing, like a self-care thing, which is totally okay. Um, but let's talk about some real self-care. So. Um, I want you to keep in mind when you run to Target and you grab or Walmart and you grab one of those little pouches, you know, that have like the little masks that you either lay on your face or squish on your face. Those run about three to five bucks, right? And they're probably fine. I mean, it's not anything that you're really like, guys, groundbreaking mask at Walmart. Hey, when you jump on, will you please say hi? So I know that the video is working just fine. Um, so when you are seeing me talking, please say hi. Um, okay. So this mask is the bomb. Like this is something that you would write home about. Okay. And this jar is so cool because the, the lid comes off like this. And when you squish down the top, you get what you need to come out. Okay, and oh my gosh, I think I am running out right this second. Okay, so this is about the 12th time that I've used this mask, okay? This jar of masks, and it cost me $45. So you do the math, $45 divided by 12. Oh, good. Okay, hello, everybody. Um, you do the math, $45 divided by 12. Um, it's a little more than $4, between $4 and $5 every day mask. So this is like Walmart, Target, price but this is like what you would go to get like a facial quality so I only I'm gonna actually cheat and see if I have any more so the pump top keeps the inside clean so that you can keep using it over and over but I always cheat guys every time you run out of your milk products go ahead and screw the top off um, and dig your finger and just scrape I mean we are gonna get every last ounce of product out okay we do not waste milk with skincare okay so this is the mask my skin is clean, like I, I washed it before I went to bed last night and I haven't done, I haven't applied any makeup today. So I'm just gonna massage the mask into my face. So this is not one of those ones, I'll tell you what it does do. What it does not do is it doesn't like dry on your face to make like, you know, your stereotypical mask thing. But I am gonna do a pretty thick coat all over my face. I'm gonna be careful not to, I'm gonna avoid my eye area, okay? but. I am gonna put this mask everywhere else. And immediately, like right now, I can feel it, it's starting to get warm. It warms up on your skin because it has enzymes in it and those enzymes are starting to work. So I'm just gonna keep massaging it in just for, I don't know, until I get good coverage everywhere. And I'm sure that it's all over my face. Now, depending on how sensitive your skin is, leave it on anywhere from like two to five minutes. So we've got like two minutes for me to teach you everything that's in this awesome mask and the skincare. Okay, are you ready? Like, I'm gonna set a timer for two minutes. Okay, here we go. So the first ingredient that's in this mask that is going to make your skin sing is sodium citrate. Okay, what sodium sit? Oh, good, Denise. Okay, Denise is a good, a new time mask user. Good, Denise. Okay, so what it's gonna do is your skin all over your body has a certain pH level that it functions the best at. Um, so this helps keep bacteria out. I mean, if you think about your skin as an organ, its job is to protect your body. So it has a layer on it, it has a pH layer, that the bacteria level, it has a normal flora that has to be maintained and pH level affects that so, so much. So. Sodium citrate helps to balance that pH level so that you, your skin can do its job of protecting your body, okay? It's also an antioxidant. So you're putting those antioxidants in, 
okay? Then you have vitamin E, which we all know is really ultra moisturizing. Um, and it also has a ton of antioxidants. So again, you're putting that good, good stuff in. And those enzymes that we talked about, they are going to be working on pulling out this, like that deep dirt that you can't just get out, you know, willy nilly. It pulls out that deep dirt. It sloughs off old skin cells so that when you're done with the mask, your skin feels so soft. It's incredible how soft it feels. And you'll see that it, you've gotten a deep, deep, deep clean. Okay, then there's one more thing because the reason I love this mask is because I know that it's sloughing off. It's like an exfoliator, but it's an enzyme exfoliator, um, but it's also packing in the moisture back in. So I don't feel like I like, oh yeah, you know how when you try to open your mouth and it's like, oh, it's tight to open. So it also has allotonin in it, which is ultra, ultra moisturizing. So that's just in the mask. Okay, so the whole system is called milk, but don't worry if you're lactose intolerant, there's actually no milk in it. What they did is lactic acid is one of those really, really key components of skincare that you're looking for that's going to help um, increase the amount of moisture in your skin so that plumps up your scales. It's your scales. We're not fish, guys, or lizards. We actually don't have scales. The skin sails. I'm just gonna call them scales now since they're skin cells. Anyway, it plumps them all up so it reduces the look of your fine lines like your crow's feet and your smile lines, all those things, okay? <clears throat> so that's in the cleanser and the milk cream, which I'll show you in just a second. Okay, my timer is up. I am going to go ahead and rinse this off. So this is the cleanser, which is super easy because guys, I've got four kids. When it comes to being bedtime, I'm not like, okay, here's 30 minutes dedicated to my night routine. No, this is how it goes, okay? I walk in my bathroom. I'm usually grouchy because I'm really tired and I want to go to bed. I grab my cleanser and I spray it directly on my face. Just willy-nilly, spray it on there. You see it got on my neck too. It's fine, just spray it on, okay? I turn on my sink so my water can start to warm up. And I massage the cleanser into my skin while the water warms up. Then what I do is I grab one of these cloths. And these cloths deserve like a standing ovation. It is the softest cloth that you're gonna see, but it's microfibers. So all those little tiny fibers are gonna be pulling off your makeup. They're gonna be exfoliating very, very gently. So it's gonna get all that, all that work that the mask just did, it's gonna get that off, okay? So that's on a mask day. Usually do the mask like twice a week. Um, but on a regular day, on a non-mask day, it's also just getting your makeup off. So these microfiber cloths are like makeup removers, but it's super gentle because you get to just use water. So I just got the cloth wet with just water and I'm just gonna go in and wipe everything down. I use that and then I'm gonna move to a clean part of my cloth and do the other side and just really make sure that I get all those enzymes off. Because if you have very sensitive skin and you leave that mask on too long, it could really irritate your skin. Like it's not, it's it's for reals. Like they're for reals enzymes. And I've accidentally left it on a little too long before and I had some redness. Like do you see how you've got a fresh layer of skin where you're a little bit red right there? I'm gonna rinse my cloth one more time and just make sure I get an extra, extra good rinse after that mask. But. It smells amazing and it also it just your skin is just so dang soft when you're done okay so on a normal day just taking off my makeup that would have been the cleanser and then I just wipe off my makeup so my face is super duper clean right now okay then I'm just gonna rinse out my cloth again with just water until the water runs clean you know usually I can see my makeup come off so I rinse it until the water comes clean and then I just hang it up on a towel rack to dry Okay, then since the microfiber cloth is pulls so much off, my face is barely wet right now. Like it's almost dry already. So I'm just gonna get the tiny bit that's left off. And that cleanser, guys, is awesome. So when I first got this, I when I the first time I used my cleanser, I was wearing uh, lip scents, lip color, and you know how hard that crap is to get off your lips, right? It got it off. And I was blown away. I'm like, this stuff isn't supposed to come off for anybody. So it's strong enough to get lip scents off. But typically, so I just had my lashes done yesterday. 
Typically, I use it to get my mascara off and my eyeshadow off, so it's gentle enough to use on my eyes. It doesn't burn my eyes. It doesn't make me look blurry. Like, literally, I spray it all over my face, massage it in everywhere, and then rinse it off. So that's the cleanser, okay? Then you have the toner. Remember, we just talked so much about the pH level of your skin, how important it is. Even if you're just washing your face with water, unless your water is set to the pH of your skin, which it's not, you are gonna be disrupting the pH level. So you've gotta get that back. So that's what your toner does. It's gonna soothe any minor irritations. Oh my gosh, I wish you guys could feel my skin right now after that mask. It's so soft, okay? So then you do the, P the toner. I spritz it on, right? Isn't this so easy? Spray it on your face, rinse it off. Spray the toner on your face, let it dry. That's the first two steps of the skincare. Like, I need to see some raised hands if you can handle that. Like, can you handle spray cleanser, rinse it off, spray toner, let it dry. I think we all can handle that. Okay, now, this is what I, not this exactly, this is what I started with. So, when this whole, so I'm gonna tell you just a little tiny backstory because I this is how much I love this stuff. <laughs> Okay, so this, this is the, the ingredients, the formula, that's the word I'm looking for. The formula has been around for like 40 years. It was in Europe. So there was a plastic surgeon and a milk farmer and they're like, listen, lactic acid is key. It is clutch for skincare. But why don't we try to find this, like we need it to be more natural. Like we don't want any synthetic lactic acids because a natural form is usually more readily absorbed and it's better for you, right? Like we can usually agree on that. Okay, so they're like, dude, lactic acid milk so they pulled they cultured the milk they pulled the lactic acid out and that's why it's called milk okay but it was a plastic surgeon and a milk guy and they got together and they did their little sciencey things and they made this cream in europe forever ago then when they came to the united states that they dug it back up and they're like this is awesome so kara who started who's the ceo she was at the dermatologist with terrible skin so frustrated with her skincare and um they gave her a sample of it and she took it home and she's like i need more of this where do i buy this and they're like actually sorry it's not really for sale like we 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 love it we want to make it but we are not in the business of marketing a product so you know she's like i am I am in the business of marketing a product. Please, like people need that cream. And so that's how we got our hands on this gold. It is a gold mine because anyway. So when we first started, we just had the milk moisturizing cream and then later they branched out. So when I started as an artist, the milk moisturizing cream was the only thing that was available. So I just finished off this jar of cream. Like I dug everything. It is dry as a, well, I guess there's a tiny bit left, but like I have sufficiently got every drop out of that box. And luckily my new box came yesterday. So go me. And this stuff is awesome. I used to think with my skin, what I wanted to do was dig really deep and strip my skin of all the oils, all the dirt, everything. Like I wanted like pressure wash my face, get everything off. And then I wanted like the thickest, most luxurious oil, cream, whatever, pack it all back on. Cause I was like, make my skin supple. I want it super clean and supple. And my skin looked trash. Guys, when I get off this video, I'm, I'll post my picture of what my skin looked before. I started this because it was a joke. It was trash. And so I got this cream and I'm like, this is a makeup company. Like, I'm not going to try that. It came in my artist kit. And so like, I didn't even fork out any money for it. Like it just came in my kit. I'm not, I'm not trying that. I, it's, there's no way it's going to work. And so then like after two weeks, I'm like, all right, fine. I'll try it. Like it can't hurt. Whatever. So I tried it. <laughs> I put it on at night. I woke up the next morning and I'm like, oh my gosh. My skin, normally when I would wake up the next morning, right here would be a grease fest, like grease town, okay? And then around my mouth would be all dry and like flaky, because around, maybe I'm a mouth breather at night, I don't know, I'll ask my husband. Anyway, around my mouth would be so dry and nasty. And so I woke up and like the oil was balanced and my skin felt good, I'm like, this stuff is magic and I've been addicted ever since. So that's my story. Well, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Anyway, so it's just like the mask. You pump up the top so the insides stay clean. And this is a fresh pumper. There it comes. So you just do a pump or two. Do you see how it comes up so cute like that? Okay. And then you just rub it in. So this still fits right in my wheelhouse 
I love this scent. This is the title collection. So there is a classic collection and a title collection. They are the exact same formula. It's just this one just smells, it has the teeniest, teeniest tiny bit of fragrance and it just smells clean. Okay, the, this white one that I had, this is called the classic collection and it has a, like a floral scent. So if you're into like smelling good and stuff, then do that one. If you're into just smelling clean and being done, do this one. Do you see how my skin is uh, a little red from the mask? That crap works, it, it works. Okay, anyway, what was I gonna say? Oh, this has jojoba oil in it. So it's super thick. It's fulfilled all my dreams by being a super thick, but by the time I get done talking here, it's going to be just soaked into my skin. It soaks up, it's glorious. That jojoba oil in it is, it's the most, it's found in nature, but it is the closest thing found in nature to your own natural oil production, okay? So it has that negative inhibitor effect. Is that what it's called? Guys, I'm a science major, but you know, for kids, it happens. Where if your body has oil on it already, it goes like, okay, we can chill. Like we don't have to keep producing so much freaking oil. <laughs> um, whereas if you try to, to starve your skin of that oil and the moisture, it's gonna be like, we're dry guys, keep making more, keep making more. But this, when you put it on, it's very soothing and it tells your body, you know what, we're okay. Like we can calm down. I've had so many clients tell me that their skin is less oily now that they've been using that cream, which blows my mind because it's a thick cream. Okay, one last thing that I wanna talk to you guys about because you cannot forget your lips. So we have this that fits right inside your compact. It's a lip conditioner. We have mint and cherry, and this is the best stuff that I've ever put on my lips. I had lips that were chronically peeling, and um, this is not a lip balm, so it's not waxy where it's gonna stay on your lips and protect them all day. I like to think of it as like a leave-in conditioner where you spray it on your hair, you know, and you comb it out and then it dries in your hair. So this is just a lip conditioner. It all soaks up and then your lips don't have any residue on them, okay? It really, it's, it's so good. I like the cherry, especially now that it's cold outside. I keep the cherry one in my car. I got the pepper one in my compact and the cold cherry on my lips when I take my kids to the bus in the morning, like I was on the end, I don't know why, but it feels so good and I love it. I didn't think I'd like the cherry. I'm not a big like that kind of flavor stuff for lip stuff. I'm like peppermint all the way, but I love them both. I was surprised. Anyway, I've been yakking your ear off. I'm so sorry. This is like on 100% my soapbox. I love, love, love the skincare. It's my favorite. Um, a couple of questions that people always want to know. I almost forgot to tell you guys this. This jar of milk moisturizer I opened on November, I think it was the 8th because I was gone the first weekend of November. I came back. Um, Okay, so that's a good question about the lip conditioner. I still think you would have to use it very, very often because my lips, they, I put it on all the time. Like my lips want it, want it, want it, want it. So I think my lips are now dependent on it. <laughs> Plus it's winter, guys. And so your lips are gonna need help probably no matter what, you know? But anyway, I opened this jar. Sorry, I opened this jar the, the first Monday after the first weekend in November. So around November 8th, I wanna say, I'm not 100% sure, but you can go check the calendar if you'd like. And I just I just ran out last night, was the last night. I just opened my new jar today. So that's most of January, all of December, and most of November. So this lasted me almost three months. I use it morning and night, and I use it crap ton on my face. It's like, I load it up. Most normal people use one pump and they're done. I don't, I use a ton because it's the best part of my day. I, I am weirdly attached to this milk cream. Is that weird? Okay, it's $50, so it should last you about three months because you're a normal human being. And then the um, mask, depending on how much you use, I would say you get about 12 masks out of this jar right here, and that's $45, so it depends on how much you do masks. And then um, the cleanser and the toner, I've had both of these since before November. I wanna say these last well past three months, I would get into like the four to five month range and they're each $45. So it's it's a great investment into your skin. It's a high quality product. It lasts a long time. Um, and what's awesome is when you buy the three, the cleanser, the toner, and the moisturizing cream, you get a box 
of these microfiber cloths for free included with it. So you get three cloths and the whole system, everything you would need in one swoop, and it saves you 25 bucks bundling like that. Okay, I've yet to air off. Now I'm done. All right. Um, I will be back later actually to talk to about to talk to you about the rest of the class. And um, if you have any questions, just reach out to your artist or you can reach out to me and I will hook you up with your artist and we'll answer it together. Okay, talk to you soon.